What's going on guys, Tyler here, and today we're talking about social media icons for Elementor. If you've ever wanted to add social media icons to your website, this is gonna be a perfect video for you. And if you stay tuned till the end of the video, I'm going to show you a super cool effect you can do on these social media icons for all Elementor Pro users. Speaking of Elementor Pro, if you're interested in upgrading at any time, be sure and check out the link down below in the description. See what kind of price you can get for it. It is a phenomenal plugin, phenomenal? A phenomenal plugin that really just upgrades your website so much, makes it really, it just have like this pop and wow factor because there's so many different um, features and elements that you can add into your page and I absolutely love it and recommend it. So check that out down below in the description and see what kind of price you can get for it. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I really appreciate you stopping by. Be sure and smash that nice red look and subscribe button. Join the family and be notified of other videos just like this one that are coming out very frequently. And uh, yeah guys, that's pretty much it. Let's jump into my computer and get started. I wanna give a big shout out to those that are subscribed to my channel and returning for today's video. Thank you guys so much for coming back by. Now what we're doing essentially is going to add social media icons to this page right here. I've made just a super simple, you know, uh, added my profile image, my name, and some dummy text here. This is just kind of like if you were presenting yourself, maybe you're a designer, a photographer, um, a blogger, a freelance writer, a contractor, who knows what you are. But maybe you have like a profile page, like an about you page, and you want to present them with some social media icons. Or let's say you're maybe like an e-commerce business. Maybe you know you have um, you promote your products through various social media platforms. You want to present them with some social media icons so they can see all of your content that you're putting out on your social media pages. So for this example, we're just going to use this setup and we're just going to basically set up some social media icons. Okay, so let's go ahead and just throw in some social media icons. Now, if we go over here to the Elements and Elementor, um, we can actually just search here for social and it will come up with social icons right here so you simply just drag and drop it in just like normal here and uh, you're presented with three icons by default Facebook Twitter and YouTube now right over here you'll see this is very very easy to edit by default it's pulling in its original colors and we can make edits to that and changes to that if we need to but basically this is it we just have a simple dashboard here where we can change these icons if we click on it right here we can actually click on the logo here the Facebook logo logo and adjust it to whatever kind of font awesome icon that we need. Now font awesome is this library that the element was pulling from, but we can go ahead and make that adjustment right there. Right down here is where we're actually going to put the link to our page. So for example, if this is Facebook and if we're labeling this, you know, Facebook right here, then we can go ahead and add in a link to our facebook.com slash whatever our pages or our profile or whatever we're looking to do there. If you need to make an individual adjustment to just one icon and not the whole group of icons, but just one icon, we can click right here and hit custom and we can go down to primary color and adjust this to maybe our accent color for example and now you can see we have this orange kind of accent color um, we can do a secondary color this is going to actually make the adjustment of the Facebook on the inside that looks a little bit like Halloween there <laughs> that uh, icon but um, for this we're just going to leave it at its official color I, I think that looks good Elementor's already done the work and Font Awesome. They already pull in the colors that um, these brands use as their default color. So it kind of brings that sense of you know familiarity for your users and visitors. Like, oh, I know that's the Facebook blue. Um, so that's pretty much it. We have you know it, those options for each one of the three icons. If you need to copy, you can click this button right here. If you need to delete, you can click this button right here. That will actually let you delete the icon. So if we want to get rid of Twitter, we. Can could do that. Um, if we wanted to copy, we could do that. If you want to add any items, you can simply do that by clicking add item here and then clicking the icon. And maybe we have a, oh, there's Snapchat. Let's go ahead and add a Snapchat. Um, you can see that's a little washed out. Um, if you look at this, it's a little washed out. So we might want to change that yellow. That's fine. All the other colors look really good. We'll just go ahead and make that adjustment, adjustment by hitting custom here and then going and finding a nice yellow here. Um, 
I'm not gonna take too much time doing this, but that's kind of a little bit better adjustment right there, right? Um, well, let's go ahead and just leave it at the official color. If you need to make any changes, you can do that right there. The actual shapes, now these are gonna be like the actual style and shape that is behind the icon, because if you actually look at this, what it is is it's the social media logo laid on top of a shape so rounded is going to be a square with rounded corners square is going to make i don't know if you can see that but make the edges sharp so they're not rounded at all and then circle will actually turn these into circle almost like buttons like little circles there um, columns you can adjust here if you want two columns so they're laid out in just two columns like that and then they're stacked on top of each other you could do one that would stack them all straight up and down there um, let's just leave it on auto there and this is going to just stack as far as we have space to keep stacking them side by side we have our alignment right here very easy to do to adjust there just left right center there um, let's go ahead and jump into some style here now over here this is going to control the overall look for your icons so let's say you don't like that you don't want the uh, default colors the official color excuse me for all of your icons you want your icons black or you want your icons orange or you want your icons you know a certain color just come over here to style don't worry about the other settings over on content and switch this to custom and then you can go ahead and just adjust these right here it'll make the adjustment to all of your icons just like that we've made all the icons my accent color looks really nice on the page and everything like that so um, if you need to do that you can do that right here and again like I said the secondary color will change the actual logo inside of that little circle there um, let's go ahead and just switch it back to official color we don't need to worry about that right now sizing is just going to be the size of the icons if you like them nice and big or small or wherever you want them um, to remove that you just simply highlight the number and delete it out and that will default it back to what the default was padding is actually going to be the padding in between the edge of the shape so we, we chose circle for this example and the logo so for example a very low padding you can see the logos are pushed all the way out sometimes over the edges of the circle but with a really really large padding you can see there's a lot of space in between the logo and the actual edge of the shape again to get rid of it to default it you can just backspace that out um, spacing here we're at five by default but you can drag this up or down as you need to however you want the, the spacing to be between the different shapes the circles in our case um, by default I think it was set to five there so we'll leave it there um, rows gaps we don't have any rows but if you had say two columns and four icons you have two and two you could adjust the the gap between the rows there um, border type we can set borders if we want to here's a solid border let's make it maybe a nice thick border um, there we go so now you can see we have this gray border around the uh, shapes there I'm gonna go ahead and just take this uh, border off here and we have border radius. Now this probably won't make any kind of adjustment. Yeah, this you can't actually adjust the shape this way, but let's say maybe we back, well actually, actually yeah, let me just show you here. So let's leave this to nothing here. Let's go back to content and I'll go to shape here and switch this to square. Now this means all of the edges are sharp and they basically have no roundness to them. If I adjust the border radius and increase it, you can see we're getting a different shape. Now this is going to be kind of like it's still a square, but it's got really rounded corners. So if you want to make any kind, anything in between like a sharp square and a circle, you can do that by adjusting the border radius right here. Now you can see it's a little more square, but still those heavily rounded corners there. So let's just actually get rid of the border radius and we'll just leave it at its default here. Now let's move on to icon hover. Icon hover is going to be an animation that plays when you hover over your uh, social media icons. However, remember this is going to be a desktop only thing only uh, feature as you can't really hover on mobile or tablet because you're using your finger right um, but if we go ahead and click like grow for example when we hover over these you now kind of see there's a slight grow in the icon it just kind of enlarges a little bit just so you can kind of like tell which one you're hovering over um, you could do like pulse shrink for example this is actually going to if I can zoom in here this will actually kind of like shrink it down but keep pulsating it so it's going to be like shrinking almost like it's blinking kind of like in a 
in a movement way there. Um, that's icon hover. I don't think we need anything for right now. Um, that is pretty much social media icons. That's just how easy it is to put those in. Those are all the customization settings for them. You do have advanced settings if you need something a little bit more fancy or a little more advanced, but that's pretty much social media icons. Now let's jump to the part you've all been waiting for and let's bring in some awesome effects to these social media icons. All right, so I've actually already created this effect, but I wanna go ahead and actually delete this and bring in the other um, social media icons that I've created. So are you ready? I'm gonna delete the spacer here. Dun, 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 dun. Look at this. So we got these social media icons right here, which are actually have a gradient going through them and are fading and changing colors. And no, this is not a video. It's nothing like that. They're actual icons. You can click on them. They work just like normal. And this is still using the icon um, element or the icon uh, widget right here from the Elementor social icons right here. So this is really cool. I'm going to show you how to do this. I think it makes the page just look super cool. And especially if you're like, you know, something in like the art field, like a designer or photographer or something like that, it would really like stand out and really maybe feel more like cutting edge, like Oh, you know, this, this person knows like how to, you know, stay up with the times and, and has a very modern feel to their site. So um, I've made other videos on this. So I do want to let you know, I've made videos on how to do this effect with text. I've made videos how to do just a stagnant gradient with text. I've made videos on how to do a, a color fade in icons, not these icons, but really any icons that you're putting on your site. And I highly recommend you check out those videos. So I'm gonna show these videos right here on the screen. These are what the thumbnails look like right here. If you want to go look at any of these videos, you can go over to my channel and just find the thumbnail that matches or click one of the cards that are popping up right now. and. Uh, this, this is really how you do these effects. But I'm going to briefly go over it here just because I want to show you and uh, I'll reference you the video that you should go look at to get the rest of this. All right, guys, so these are the two videos on my channel right here. This is the first one that I recommend you do, you look at and use right there is, is learn how to kind of get this gradient effect in here and then jump over to this one. This will show you kind of how to get that fading gradient and effect through it. Like I said, it really doesn't take that much time, but it just kind of takes a little bit of, of setup and and then once you've got it, you don't have to worry about it. You can just duplicate elements and it's it's all good to go there. Um, but basically what we're gonna do, the changes that we're gonna make in this is we're gonna go in here to edit. Now, one thing we need to do is actually bring the, go back over to advanced and go to custom CSS. And like I said, this is an Elementor Pro feature. We need to bring that code in over from the other um, video that we've created. Once you've got this kind of uh, gradient animation going, we're gonna bring in the whole um, the whole section of code. It's not too long here, um, but we're gonna make a few different changes here. Typically, what I say is we have to have a selector on a certain class, and this is basically how it looks. We have a dot, FA for any kind of icon that we're using on our website, we need to select that icon. So we have a dot, dot FA for font awesome and then dash and then the name of the icon. For example, we could do Apple A-P-P-L-E dash CC that would refer to the Apple credit card. Um, and I show you kind of how to get these names in the um, other video. But for this, we're just going to use the name of the social media platform. So dot f a dash facebook for example and then we're going to use a colon which is the two dots and then we're going to type in before and that is going to select this icon right here and turn it into this gradient and apply all these effects that are in our code it's going to select the facebook icon and apply those effects so once we have that we're good to go we can go ahead if we only have one social media icon we can just finish up there if we have multiple social media icons here in this css in this uh, custom css code snippet what we're going to do is after the before on our first icon we're going to put a comma and then we're gonna do the same thing, a space and a dot FA dash, what was the next one? Twitter, I think, Twitter. And then we're gonna put a colon before. And look, that one popped up just like that. And then if we have a third one, we're gonna put a comma and we're gonna put a 
dot fa dash YouTube and then a colon and before and just like that we now have all three of them set up to this fading gradient effect you can see it looks really cool it's super nice so check out those other two videos um, they'll kind of walk you through how to do it if you want to look here maybe I can just kind of keep this here if you want this exact effect that I'm running you can see here on the left hand side I think that's on the video yeah that's on the video here on the left hand side you can just kind of copy this exact code if you want this is the effect that I'm doing and then for each one you would change obviously if you wanted um, snapchat you would enchant instead of putting dot fa dash Facebook you would put dot fa dash snapchat that, and then you would put colon before and then any other ones that you have but because we don't have snapchat we we don't have that in here now I do want to say that this may not seem to work but what we need to do is actually get this set up now if we go up to the top and go to style you need the color of everything to be in custom if you have the official color it will default to the official color you need it to be in custom once it's in custom you need to go over here to your primary color and select the color and you need to drag this bottom slider all the way down to nothing unless you want something you know a background color on it and just have like that fade going through the icons um, you could maybe maybe there would be one that looks okay but I honestly think the white looks best um, I just dragged that all the way down to the bottom so there is no transparency on the primary color the secondary color you have to drag all the way down to the bottom on that second slider otherwise you'll get a, some other color popping through and blocking the gradient you have to drag this all the way down to the bottom and that will bring out the gradient uh, fade effect and uh, yeah we're pretty much all set up I will show you I just want to add snapchat real quick just to show you how easy this is if you come in here and you hover over let's see let's add let's add uh, tumblr actually if you hover over tumblr right here sometimes it'll say well if you hover over a word that is actually cut off you can see it popped up right there it says WordPress right there but if if a word is cut off you can just hover over it and it'll pop up with the full name so let's just go ahead and select tumblr here this one is not cut off so it's not popping up there but we have tumblr here and as you can see it didn't pop up and that's because we have no color there so we want to go over to advanced custom CSS and we just need to add tumblr here so after the dot fa dash u2 colon before we'll add a comma a space and then we need to do the same thing dot fa dash tumblr uh, and then it is a colon before and just like that we have added a fourth icon there I think it looks really good guys I really hope you enjoyed today's video I really hope that you are able to implement social media icons into your page easily and like I said some of these things at least this last feature was an element or pro feature I think it's incredible there's so many other features just like this so check out the link down below in the description see what kind of price you can get for it like I said really great plugin and also be sure and smash that nice red look and subscribe button if you haven't and thank you again for those that that are continuing to come back to my videos really appreciate it and that's all i got guys have a good one and i'll catch you guys in the next video take care